Oh, they're just trying to look a little bit bigger, trying to discourage predation. And then you'll see some giraffes out here on the left, and these are Maasai giraffes. And they can get to be as tall as 18 feet, and they're showing you what they're using that height for. They're trying to reduce competition because they can get to those tip tops of the trees that other animals can't get to. And they have a really long tongue, generally an inch of tongue per a foot of height. And they use it, it's prehensile, they use it to be able to pluck the leaves out of the branches. And it's also dark in color, kind of a purpley black color. And that's to prevent sunburns. And they do spend about 30% of their day browsing. They have seven vertebrae in their neck. They're mammals just like us. And they have excellent hearing and vision. They're known as the watchtowers of Africa. They're trying to be constantly aware of their surroundings. They even sleep standing up about 20 minutes a day, broken up into increments. Because they are a little bit more vulnerable when they're sitting down. It does take them a couple of seconds to stand up. And then if you look out to the right of the giraffe, you'll see one of our rhinos out there on the left. And that is Nola, and she's a northern right rhino, which is actually a really important rhino. Fevers and headaches, but it's actually just made up of a protein called keratin. And keratin is the same protein in our own hair and fingernails. So it's really not going to do anything, it's not going to cure anything. But about a thousand rhinos were just poached or illegally hunted last year. So it has been dramatically decreasing rhino populations, specifically these northern white rhinos. And, our, and this species will probably go extinct in our lifetime because our females are past reproductive age. There's no more babies to be had. We do, however, have their cell samples stored in our frozen zoo, so we can maybe use reproductive technology to bring this species back. It does make us just work really hard, though, to protect some of our other rhino species here at the park. We have southern white rhinos, black rhinos, and also our greater one-horned rhinos. So that's Nola out there grazing. She has a broad, wide mouth, kind of like a lawnmower. It helps her graze a fish. And then out on the right here, you'll see some of our Somali wild asses. And they're becoming critically endangered in Somalia because they're being hunted for their meat. There's a lot of war conflict going on there. So we're one of the few zoos that actually has them. And we've had great success breeding them. And hopefully one day, we hope to reintroduce them. And then these brown, black cattle species on the left, those are Cape buffalo. Cape buffalo are actually the second most dangerous animals in Africa next to the hippopotamus. In the boma on the left, you'll see Chuck, our southern white rhino. And we use these bomas as a quarantine area when animals come from other zoos or they're going to be shipped out to another zoo or for medical treatments. You'll see some of the animals hanging out there. So as we make our way up this hill, I won't be able to stop, but just be on the lookout for some more animals we might encounter on the left-hand side.